hi guys you're welcome to this model whereby we'll be creating a new list item layout uh this layout is called a constraint layout what's a constraint layout it's a regroup which allows you to position and size widgets in a flexible way in an android application so we'll be incorporating the constraint layout in this particular model right there in the build gradle model app session are uh, you have the compile come android support constraints uh the layout 1.0.0 does a better three version uh this constraint layout is actually uh used in the android 2.2 upwards version so if you're using the previous uh android studio version like the one point series i uh, will employ you to upgrade to the two point uh versions of the android studio so that you can be able to use the constraint layout in this uh, application. You have this up. After adding this uh, line of compile, you synchronize to Gradle and uh, you move further to the forecast list item XML, where we're going to remove the old layout we have before. I'm going to use the constraint layout to create the new list item layout. So now, it's like we're snowballing from the list item that we used to have in the later version of Android to recycler view and now to the constraint layout. You can see how uh, Android continue to evolve around and move on to uh, actually support more complex uh, UI. Right there in the Android support constraint layout, uh, you have your Android. Uh, you have the layout with night, match parent and wrap content. There's a padding bottom, which is 12 dp. The left padding is 16. The right padding is 16. And the top padding is 12 dp. So this is just the only change that we did. And you're going to have the closing Android support constraint layout. Other aspects can still be maintained. If you notice, we have the Android support constraint guideline. There's a guideline right uh, at the sidebar of this particular uh, UI. How about we are sending an IDT called guideline? The layout with an wrap content. The orientation is horizontal, while the layout constraint guide percent is 0 0.5. That's cool. Uh, so you have this uh, setup this way. Uh, we, uh, we did some modification in the forecast adapter. You know, the forecast adapter relies on the forecast list item XML. So let's get to look at the forecast adapter. Uh, we're going to create uh, a view order, which is required part of the pattern for the recycler view. It mostly behaves as a cache of the child view for a forecast item. It's also a convenient place to set an unclick listener since it has access to the adapter and the views. We have the forecast adapter view order that extends the recycler view. View order implements the view on click listener. Now we're going to replace the weather summary text view with individual weather detail text views, which is the text view of the of each details. We have we have the date view, the description view, the high temp view, and the low. That's the high and the low temperature. We're going to add an image view for the weather icon. You know, we're going to use an icon. And we have the forecast adapter view that where we pass the view and call on the super class. We get references to all views and delete this line. How about we initialize the date view, the icon view, description view, the item by calling its appropriate ID, which is right there in the forecast XML. Now we set on click listener to the view of each one of it. So that takes us down to the on click. Uh, I've explained this earlier. Uh, what about we call the child views during the click and we get them working. There is one other aspect uh, that one other inclusion we need to do in the forecast adapter uh, Java class. Uh, one order inclusion we need to replace the single text view with views to display all the weather info whereby we have here the weather id the m cursor to get the integer based on the main activity index weather condition id and the weather image id 
We equate it the, to the weather utilities to get a small art resource ID for weather condition. We pass in the weather ID as, as the parameter. And we have the forecast adapter view order that calls on the icon view and set the resources of the icon. We have to read the dates from the cursor. The date in milliseconds. Whereby we get the human readable string using our utility method, the date string. Then you display the friendly date string. Or by you call the forecast adaptive view order, the date view, and set the text based on the date string. We also have the weather description. Uh, what about we have the string description? You get the string for weather condition. Uh, you create the accessibility string from the weather description, which is the description alley for the forecast description. You set the text and content description for accessibility purpose. Uh, whereby we add the description view to set the text and the content description. So that's uh, all for the forecast adapter. You know, little tweak here and there. First of all, in the app uh, Gradle, where we included the constraint layout compile. We move to the forecast list item where we use the support constraint layout tag to represent uh, the list and we did some tweak in the forecast adapter well, where we actually uh, call some where we actually have the image view we replace the weather summary and we get a reference to all new views and delete we delete the previous line by initializing each of the view i'll be showing the screencast of this particular module Let's look at the manifest. Probably we have any tweak or any change in the manifest. Now we still have the sync uh, because we have our content provider registered. We have a service, which is the weather sync intent service. And we actually declare uh, the conjunction with the Firebase dispatcher, where we declare the service of the Firebase job service. Uh, we still have it right inside and our and our internet permission. So I'll be showing the screencast of this particular tutorial. And afterwards, we'll be moving to displaying the today list item. That's the today weather forecast. The today weather details. Anyhow, you feel like putting it. So don't go anywhere. Catch me up in the next module.